at Fairbanks. Um, hope everyone's having a wonderful first day of 2022. Um, we are, we have our work cut out for us today. Yeah, it's quite cold today. It's negative 18, which is a bit warmer than the people down in the ville. We have a temperature inversion, so that's kind of good for our property. But as you can see behind us, we've got a lot of snow this year, significantly more than we did at this same time last year. We just had what was called the snow or ice apocalypse come through and total I guess is probably around 20 inches of snow and about two inches of rain in the middle of December in Fairbanks. Um, the rain made some things kind of hard but we've got that patched up now because there's a sheet of ice underneath our snow it's about two inches deep. But the task at hand today is our greenhouses. So we try to keep our greenhouses done through the winter. This is our first winter with it, and we decided not to take the plastic off. And uh, so we have to go around and do our maintenance on it to keep the snow off because it'll break the plastic. This is our hoop house behind us here. And we'll start today by clearing around it. And uh, then we'll move to our a bit more rickety and old, uh, I guess it's like a barn style wood greenhouse that was here when we bought the property and we had to do some repairing to it. Well, that's our first priority of today. The second priority is making a, a walk around the perimeter of the fence to make sure no trees have come down on it. Uh, we built the fence uh, uh, last summer and we did a pretty good job, sold it up pretty good, but we want to make sure that there's nothing laying over it um, just in case anything breaks or falls down. First off, we got to clear a path around so we can get the snow off the side so we can throw it. So you really got to snow throw twice. Uh, you have to get the path where you can put the snow and then you got to blow that away so it's not there next time.
All right, if the battery lasts, you can see what it looks like. So we clear the path for the next snowstorm, because if you don't, well, you just ride it, uh, you wind up riding around on top of the snow. It's an odd shape for a greenhouse. Maybe we should have rethought it when we did it, but it seemed to make sense in the summer. It seems to be a lot more work to uh, keep it clear in the winter, so we may do some design changes. Here's one of the small holes. And then here's the couple of small holes I learned my lesson on earlier in the year. So it's definitely a work in progress. Now it would be nice to be able to clear everything with a skid steer, but we put a couple of rows too close to the greenhouse. Another design change we might change next year, right Mel? Yep. Because it sure would be nice to be able to get the skid steer and plow it away instead of the snow thrower. Check out the fence, make sure there's no trees down or anything like that. We got our snowshoes on because the snow is probably up to our hips, so it's going to help us stay on top. As you can see, the dogs have already um, made a path up and down the fence, probably chasing cars. <laughs> we built this fence last summer and we uh, milled all the wood uh, from the local trees and looks pretty good it looks like it's holding up pretty well a little side view of the house garage area bit of a view out that way we got some trees we had to clean up this spring like this very abnormal tree here i know the snow doesn't seem that deep but the top of this wire fence is four feet up so this is like two and a half foot deep snow so quite a bit so the reason why we made the fence six feet is to keep the moose out but obviously now it looks like if the moose went in they're getting in now here's going to be our fire pit lounging area in the summertime we've got it mostly cleared out but mostly because we have this really good view from up here and uh so the more work to be done that summer, or this coming summer. The way it is, always more work. So the snow up here is closer to four feet. Like I said, the top of that wire is four feet. So this is three foot, three inches or so, over a yard of snow. So this is a six foot chain link fence and look how much of it is exposed. So we're going to try not to walk too close to it. We're going to stay over here on this other side just to keep the dogs from deciding to come that way. This is the top corner of our property. <laughs> And what's left of the boreal forest that we did not take down, although we'll be trimming it up quite a bit this summer. I know it sounds horrible, but we got plenty of boreal forest all around us. So we're more into growing and grass and places for little baby golden retrievers to play. If you can see ahead of us, there's a tree down on the fence that we need to take care of. Yep. Hey. All right. And here goes Daniel. So <laughs> we lost you on video for a bit because it's so cold our camera quits after about five or six minutes. He's not made for negative 20 temps. this way? No, we're going 
go down right here. It's really high right here from the wind blowing. There's one more area that we need to look at, but we gotta go down a different way. And this is not a tree that fell because of the snow, it's just that. But it still needs to be trimmed up a bit. Yeah, it needs to be trimmed up, but this is from the leftover summertime stuff. Grouse? That's a big grouse. It hops, and the long distance when it hops and like flaps around. Well, don't lean on the fence too much. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to take a shot down this side. And everything's good down there. So there's no need to walk through all that. Looks like the dogs have been down there, so they packed down a little trail. <laughs> this is going to be a more summertime project. We're actually going to clear all this uh, trees down. We'll probably do some form of a walking area or storage. Something. Something down here. We don't like keeping all our equipment up where people can see it from the road. This would be a nice place to put it. You said we don't need to go down there? Nope. That's good. Good anyway? Nope. <laughs>